Hey guys, morning. Uh, I'm still on vacation, but today we're going to do, let's see, active reconnaissance. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload today, Friday, December 1st, but I passed the reconnaissance. I was supposed to upload today, but it got flagged for something. I'm not sure why. So I submitted appeal as you can see <clears throat> pass as reconnaissance there's restriction not sure why but all right guys let's uh, go to active reconnaissance uh still path part of comp ti pen test plus learning path on uh, information gap information gathering and vulnerability scanning so all right let's get right to it active reconnaissance learn how to use simple tools such as trace route pin telnet and a web browser to gather information so task one introduction <clears throat> answer the questions below ensure you understand why these tools fall under active reconnaissance launch your attack box and ensure that is ready, you will need it to answer the questions, especially in later tasks. So guys, uh, these videos just show you how to answer the questions per task, but I always strongly recommend to reach, do each task to get full understanding. So let's get right into task two, web browser. So it talks about web browsing, how to gather information. So there's screenshots and answer the questions below browse to the following website so let's right click i'm going to copy this and we use that tag box or i mean you could tell me just do on the website so Ensure you have opened your developer tools on the attack box, Firefox, or the browser on your computer. Use developer tools to figure out the total number of questions. Hint, locate the JavaScript file script.js, inspect the file, and figure out the total number of questions. So you can go more tools at Firefox, web developer tools. And says JS, inspect, right? So. There you go, this script. Let's see, one, there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight. Awesome. All right. Uh, see, this is getting better. <laughs> a little bit. All right. I turn on my YouTube link, so. All right, let's go task three, ping. Sorry, load the start machine. And let's close this, close this. Open the terminal, let's close this. So, talks about the ping command. Which option will you use? Answer questions below. Which option will you use to set the size of data carried by the ISIM? ICMP echo requests. Use the man ping command to consult ping spaniel pages. Okay, let's. And, okay. I'm gonna turn on the heater. There you go. <clears throat> Size of the data. So, see the options. Since it's size, I figure out is dash s just guessing. So s it's packet size. Specify the number of data bytes to be sent. So all right. Next question: What's the size of ICMP header in bytes? So you read this. The default is fifty-six, which translates to sixty-four ICMP. MP 
data bytes when combined with the eight bytes of ICMP header data. So it's eight. See, does MS Windows firewall block ping by default? Yes or no? And as you read through the task, the last paragraph, third bullet point, a firewall is configured to block such packets. And it says no MS Windows firewall blocks by blocks pin by default. So yes. So I'm gonna load this actually. I can't. No, I can't. Okay, never mind. All right, deploy the VM for this task and using the attack box terminal, issue the command. All right, let's uh, quit this. And ping dash C 10 space 10 dot 10. That's my current IP address. It says, how many ping replies do you get back? So it's pinging 10. I assume it's 10. There we go. All right, task four, trace route. All right. Tell us about trace route command. Trace the browser taken by the packets from your system to another host. So, answer your questions below. In trace route A, what is the IP address of the last router hop before reaching tryharmy.com? Hint if there is more than one IP address, provide the first one that responded. So, you go back to the task, it talks about trace route A. So, on the talk about terminal, there's a first IP address, 172.67.69.208. In trace route B, what is the IP address of the last router hop slash hop before we chain tryhappy.com? And if there is one more than one IP address, provide the first one that responded. So we go B. And the first one is 104.26.11.229. And in trace route B, how many routers are between two systems? So B again, as you can see, scroll all the way down, there's 26. All right, last question. Start the attach VM from task three. If it's not already started on the tab box, run trace route 10.10.99.220. Check how many router hops are there between the tab box and the target VM. Hint, if the trace route is not installed, you can install with app install trace route. So let's try trace route 10.10.99. And I got two, two, two. Looks like one. All right. Uh, I'm going to shut this off and going to load Netcat. Just there you go. Hmm. I should have done that. Oh well. <clears throat> All right, task five. Telnet. This is another protocol, but I believe is um, very unsecure. So. So let's see, it says Telnet sends all data, including username, password, and Claritext. Sending Claritext make it easier for anyone who has access to communication channels to steal login credential. All right, so answer your questions below. Start the attach VM from task three if it's not already started. On the attack box, open the terminal and use Netel client to connect to the VM on port 80. 
what is the name of the running server? So I restarted the tap box, should have done that. But anyway, guys, while I was loading, I just want to show you guys that I'm not in the IT industry yet, but I am switching career field. Uh, I'm currently, I uh, did my past videos on how I passed CompTII A+, Pandas Plus and Security Plus, but I also have Network Plus, CYSA Plus, the all current. Uh, I guess they expire the earliest is 2026. And I have IFT Plus just for fun of it, for fundamentals. So yeah, I am learning Cloud Essentials. Hopefully I'll finish before the year ends. Another one under my belt. Okay. Still loading. <clears throat> uh, again, I might upload this before the passive recon due to flagging on my passive recon reconnaissance video. I'm not sure why, but hopefully it'll get reinstated. All right. Let's close this out. All right. Let's try telnet ten dot ten nine dot two zero eighty. Connect it, and then it says you can use git slash page dot html http <clears throat> hopefully it's connecting oh, there you go Okay, it says, what's the name of the running server? Right here, Apache. And it says, what is this version of the running server on port 80 of the VM? Again, it's 2.4.110. Awesome. All right, task six, Netcat. All right, netcat or nc. So we're using another protocol. It says answer a question below. Start the VM and open the attack box. Once the attack box loads, use netcat to connect to the VM port 21. Where's the version of the running server? All right. So we use nc 10.10.99 to 0.21. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I might have to terminate this. Let's see, terminate, start machine. Yes. There you go. So, guys, uh, you have to terminate the previous one, pin. And the terminate pin so you can start in a cat. So it might be confusing for a little bit. Anyways, guys, um, it was too long, you skipped this loading part, but I shall do this again. All right, IP address shown. Let's go in cap tent at one seventy one eighty two twenty one. And there you go. What's the version of the server? So zero dot seventeen. 
as it says right here. And lastly, task seven, putting it all together. Just a summary of trace route and telling it and and, and the next room is ML and command and examples. And answer your questions below. Ensure you, you, that you gain mastery over the different basic yet essential tools we presented in this room before moving on to more sophisticated tools. All right, complete. There, guys, you can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Hit the like button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, comment, comment on my videos below so you can help me improve these videos. And yes, sorry about the background. I'm on vacation. So anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching until the next video.